We have Emma Foley with us after she today went out the front of the Women's Cadell Evans Road Race and livened up that last 10 kilometres. Can you describe to us uh, how you felt when you decided to take off? What was going through your head? Uh, oh, I knew I was going to take off there for the whole race, or try to anyway. Um, I guess uh, I looked over my shoulder off to the corner and couldn't believe I had a gap and got over the top and looked over my shoulder and had a big gap and I was quite surprised because I wasn't sure it was going to work that attack but um, yeah it was a good point, it's quite steep there and the climbs aren't very long but it's steep and that suits me so I was pretty happy to have a gap at all. <laughs> and it was very aggressive racing right from the start, do you think that um, meant that you got a better opportunity to take off at that point because everyone had uh, given their legs a pretty hard time? Well, I don't think it was that, like, there was quite a lot of lulls in the race and we were actually expecting a smaller group coming into the last 20k, but um, I guess the, the level of the race has gone up, there are more the UCI teams and, you know, the level of fitness in the peloton is very high, so not that surprising, but um, I could tell there were a few tired legs because when we turned left into Scenic, um, some people just couldn't hold the wheel and I was still feeling quietly okay there because I've been really well looked after by my team like they babysat me all the way through the race especially Erin Keneally just did a brilliant job like looking after me in the bunch and um, so I'd saved as much as I could for that point and I knew I had to then just give it everything on that like one really good attack and just try and stay away. Now you had probably six seven k's out there yeah. um, how did you feel when you were out there did you think you could do it? I had about 10k solo and about about, like, and there were, so there was a long draggy descent and then one short final climb and I could still see them out, like I saw them chasing behind me on the final climb which is still 6k to go and I was really annoyed because it's like Ugh. I could see that it wasn't Orica chasing and I thought it would be Orica that had to chase and I could see someone else was chasing and like helping them out and that <laughs> kind of frustrated me and I thought well once I get up the hill maybe in the headwind they'll slow down but for some reason the four of them were working together I think they all thought they had a chance in the sprint so yeah, uh, it was a long way, and it was pretty windy. But that's you know, that's bike racing, and sometimes, like you have to hang on because sometimes people give up when they're almost there, and you know, you just need a bit of luck. You need people to not not cooperate or just hesitate, and that didn't happen today. But and I'm, I'm disappointed in myself that I didn't have the legs to just hang on. But I did the best I could, and the, and the team support, like I say, it was just brilliant. And how did you reset when you got caught? I just was pretty devastated to be honest, and I just thought, right, I'm gonna have to attack with a K to go, but. Um, Anamique's pretty smart, like she's not stupid and she's got, I don't have a great peak power, like I know that, and my, my sprint is non-existent, I'm very long, very slow twitch person, so I just, I should have gone maybe with a K to go and just attacked it properly, but they were sort of playing cat and mouse and I couldn't get to the back because Anamique was watching me and I went way too early, should have, should have waited, but hey, you know, it happens, <laughs> just disappointed that I couldn't do better for the team really. Well, look, thank you very much for chatting to us, and it certainly did make it an exciting finish to the race. Thanks, and it was great to have so much support out on the course. Like, there were so many people cheering, and you knew my name somehow. It was brilliant, Fantastic. really cool. And so, I think I hope we didn't hadn't like made an exciting race for people watching who can be fans of women's cycling because it's an awesome sport. <laughs> it was a pretty big crowd out there. Today. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Excellent. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks.